The support of the proposed legislation is also in the American interest. Hong Kong is home to around 85,000 U.S. citizens and 1,400 U.S. companies. Two-way Hong Kong's and U.S. trade was around 42 billion U.S. dollars last year, and most American media outlets, including CNN, The Wall Street Journal, and Time magazine, established their Asian office in Hong Kong. They are all evidence that despite all the difficulties it's facing, Hong Kong remains the freest city under Chinese administration. In conclusion, I hope Democrats and Republicans alike can work together to defend the fundamental human rights value that they share. Which Hong Kongers will continue to fight hard against the communist regime for the day will come for us with democracy and exercise the right of self-determination.